Hi, everybody. It's Nick Cellini, and this is my 680 The Fan replay, and I'm going to watch something that I literally have not watched by choice in 30-plus years. It's the 1986 AFC Championship game that changed me forever as a fan, and I don't mean for the good. From the pocket, launching downfield, underthrow, and intercepted. The three, the 2-1. Ah, the old painted green field. That is that is not grass, folks. That is dirt. The Browns 12 and 4 that year. Herman Fontenot. There he is. The receiver out of the backfield by way of LSU. And there he is again. He would play a role later in this game in overtime as well for the polar opposite reasons. John Elway at the time, known as a guy that couldn't win the big one. Certainly won a couple of years in a row against the Browns. That's some good downfield tackling there. Right there under the teeth of the dog pound. There's some angry fans. You can smell marijuana in that end zone as well. Bernie's going to come back. So this is the play right here. This is the play where everybody in my fraternity house was saying, we are going to the Super Bowl. Brian Brennan catches the touchdown pass. Awesome adjustment on the ball. Next thing you know, touchdown lead. And then the ensuing kickoff is botched by the Broncos. Tom Jackson was on the kick return team, and he told me he was standing at the two-yard line, and he said, no way we win this game. So there's a third and long that somehow gets converted. And you're thinking, no way this is going to happen. Here comes another third and long. Dick Enberg. I thought he was rooting for the Broncos at the time. Maybe I was a little bit paranoid, but then again, maybe not. And there's the game-tying touchdown. And that stadium went silent. And you're thinking to yourself, how? How can this be? How can you let someone go 98 yards in your own building? In overtime, the Browns would go three and out. And for some strange reason, they ran a draw play to Herman Fontenot, who never carried the ball. So Denver gets the ball back. And they're in field goal range. Now, if there were replay, I still think Rich Carlos misses this field goal. The barefoot kicker of the Broncos. I, I think he missed it. Then again, you see the Browns, they're starting to say the same thing, but it, it didn't happen. Now, the next year would be the fumble. And at that point, I was never a Browns fan again. They weren't worth my time. John Elway still had that reputation. Dan Reeves, the head coach of this Broncos team, still had the reputation as a guy that couldn't win the big one, and they never would win Super Bowls. And here's the ironic thing. I thought that they could have beaten the Giants in 86. They beat them the year before in the Meadowlands, and I think they would have beaten the Redskins the following year. And Denver, of course, lost both of those Super Bowls. But people wonder why I'm cynical, why I'm bitter, why I, I always see the glasses half empty. That's where it all started for me. I was 19 years old at the time, and that's where it all began. So haven't watched that in 30-plus years, so I want to thank John Petrini, our, our video czar, for this great f***ing idea. Thanks, John. From the pocket, launching downfield, underthrow, and intercepted. The 2-1.